Hello friends, it's Miss Azos here. Hope you're all having a rockin' day. I'm so excited to have you back and dive into today's math topics. So, let's begin with a quick review. In our last two lessons, we focused on ways to find numbers that are more than and less than, such as looking at the digits and using a 100 chart. Today, we are going to compare these numbers by using symbols. We are going to practice the skill by first looking at the tens digit and then looking at the ones digit. That being said, let's get into our goal today. We actually only have one goal today and that goal is I can compare numbers using symbols. Well, now you may be asking, Miss Azos, what kind of symbols? Well, there are three symbols that we are going to be using today. The greater than symbol, the less than symbol, and the equal to symbol. But before we start throwing in all these symbols, let's just start by comparing two numbers. How about the numbers 52 and 25. Which number's greater? I could figure this out by counting on my fingers, but again, that would take forever and we don't have that kind of time. So, one quick way to figure out which number is greater is by looking at the digits. Let's compare our tens first. How many tens are there in the number 25? Let's look at our numbers. There are two tens in 25. And how many tens are there in 52? Let's look again. There are five tens in 52. So which number has more tens? I want to hear you. Of course, 52 has more tens so 52 is greater than 25. And I can show that 52 is greater than 25 by using this symbol. I like to think of this symbol as an alligator because alligators are hungry for big numbers. And that's why the alligator's mouth or the symbol is open to the bigger number, 52. Now. Trick question, let's say that I flip the numbers over. Which number has fewer tens? It's the same thing. 25 has fewer tens than 52, which means that 25 is less than 52. And this means that I would use my less than symbol, which faces, again, the larger number, 52. Now, let's back up and take a look at these number sentences. How are these number sentences the same? And I wanna hear your voices because I am listening to you. That's correct. They use the same numbers. Now I have another question for you. How are these number sentences different? You are so right. The numbers are in different places. Additionally, one uses the greater than symbol while the other uses the less than symbol. Now let's compare another set of numbers. How about 67 and 64? We are gonna start by using that skill that we've been practicing by looking at the tens digit first. What do you see when you compare the tens? Oh, silly me, they're the same number, which means that we need to compare the ones as well. So, looking at our numbers, 67 has more ones than 64 because seven is greater than four, which means that 67 is greater than 64. And we cannot forget our symbol. Remember, the alligator is hungry for bigger numbers, so, our symbol opens up to 67. 
right now, we're using the greater than symbol. But again, if we were to flip these numbers, then we would be using the less than symbol. And this would show that 64 is less than 67. Okay, we were all able to figure out everything so far, so let's throw in a challenge. Let's compare the numbers 33 and 33. Which number is greater? 33 and 33. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. These two numbers are the same. That means that I would put an equal sign between these two numbers to show that they are the same. We are on a roll today with practicing comparing numbers. And so far, we've been practicing comparing numbers by first looking at the tens digit and then looking at the ones digit. But now, I'd like you to use this skill to help me compare more numbers. Let's go on a number hunt. What is a number hunt, you may be wondering? Well, there are hidden numbers all throughout my house, and I need your help finding them and comparing them together. Can we do it? Let's high five, ready? One, two, three, let's go. Okay, let's brainstorm. Where would numbers like to hang out in a house? Hmm. I know that numbers are pretty hungry. Let's try the kitchen. I'll see you there. We found the numbers. You were right. They were very, very hungry. So let's compare our numbers. We're going to start by comparing our tens digit. Eight is less than nine, which means that 89 is less than 93. And our alligator is hungry for bigger numbers, which means that our symbol faces open to the 93. Let's take our bigger number and let's go. I was thinking numbers like sunny weather like this. So let's check outside. Oh, looky here. We spotted our next set of numbers. Again, let's compare them by looking at the first digit. Looking at our tens digit, seven is greater than five, which means that 75 is greater than 57. And that means that our symbol is facing open to the 75. So let's take the 75, we got our next number. And last, Numbers love spending time with dogs, so let's go check and see if the numbers are hanging out with my dog, Goldie. Oh, well, would you look here? The numbers are with my dog. We have 75 and 75. Which number is greater? Oh, wait, 75 and 75. They're the same number, which means we can use our equal sign to show that these two numbers are the same. Friends, thank you for helping me on that number search. I could not have done it without you. And as I always say, we covered a ton of content today. And it is that time that we check in to see whether or not we met our goal for today. Our goal for today was, I can compare numbers using symbols. Well, we certainly did a ton of that today. We compared numbers using the greater symbol, we compared numbers using the less than symbol, and we compared numbers using the equal symbol. So I think we for sure met our goal today. Great work. So thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. I can't wait to continue comparing more numbers as in the next lesson, we're actually gonna be putting numbers in order. I appreciate you all very much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, everyone.